Now when we make the decision and the choice to learn about our anatomy and then how it works, the physiology of the parts, the physical, mental and spiritual parts, and recognize that we also have a manager. So this manager and this driver within us begins to learn about himself and learn about his parts. He's like a shepherd that has a flock. And the flock he has is the physical body with all its parts, the wiring system with all its parts, and the spiritual system, the mind, soul, and heart with all its parts, and workers and laborers that labor for the good or the bad or the evil of the manager. Now in Isaiah chapter 56 verse 10, Isaiah is saying, and he called the manager, the driver, he called him a watchman. And he said, God's watchmen have become blind, dumb. They are all dumb dogs. They are greedy, they are selfish, and they are shepherds that do not understand their flock. They are own way, they are angry, they are selfish, and they are gluttonous. And they eat and drink excessively today, and tomorrow they say we will again eat and drink as much as we can. So this is the state of the manager and or the driver in man. Now, again, the manager is the one who makes the choices. He decides if he's going to do good or evil. He decides if he's going to go to school, what he's going to focus his attention on, if he wants to go into the academic field and become doctor, lawyer, Indian chief, thief, murderer, or whatever. And then when he acquires whatever he does, he can move on to become um, in society managers or ministers in the government, in politics, or in, sp in sports, he becomes a great athlete, and devotes his time and energy into practicing and preparing for whatever profession he so chooses. So man now has become conscious of his manager. He becomes conscious of his driver. And so he recognizes that he must learn to make better choices. And he, to do that, he has to acquire the knowledge of himself. And when he understands himself and how he operates, he then will understand that he is in control and that he could acquire anything because his machinery that was given to him called the kingdom of heaven or the mind by God has the potential, the power, the wisdom and the intelligence to acquire anything that he so desires. And these things are created for him by the machinery that was put in us by God. Now what did God put in us? He put his mind, soul, and heart. And these sections within us, spiritual sections, spiritual parts, know how to do whatever we are asked to do. So we don't tell 
the uh, mind, soul, and heart how to do it. We only tell it what we want it to do. I want health, wealth, happiness, peace of mind, love, understanding, the abundant life. I want spirituality. I want to understand why I'm here, how I operate, what I should learn, where did I come from, where I'm going, and what can I take with me. So, as they say, if you want to ask for anything, ask for wisdom. So you would now become a knowledgeable person on the face of the earth, understanding life, understanding yourself. And when you understand yourself, you'll understand God and your fellow man. And you will know that your fellow man has the same potential like you, except that he never made use of the talents that God gave him and he hid them because he felt and his belief was that he's limited. So he makes choices that are limited in life. We are all powerful human beings, but we must come to that realization. If we don't come to that realization, we will be limiting ourselves and the vehicle called man can only accomplish according to his consciousness and his belief and faith in who he is. Cut.